we are back once again. I feel like, and I don't like to say this too soon, but I feel like we're getting close to having a piece of music here. Um, there's this reprise of the B section that we're on right now that we're working on. We're pretty close to what I think is like finishing it. And then we have to figure out how this all ends. And hopefully in doing so and figuring all that out, we'll end up with something beautiful. Now, I have some thoughts uh, philosophically about what might prevent this piece from being as great as it can be. Um, it has to do with the fact that I've been uh, talking <laughs> a lot while I've been working on it and not really able to get as in the emotional state that I normally get into when I'm like feeling the music come back at me. You know, there's a lot more a much larger degree of analysis and when it comes back at me than than like actually reacting to the sound. So what I want to do here is just listen to what we have so far for the whole piece to start this off. And then we will get to uh, this last B section, finishing the last B section off. And I'm going to try to just get a really solid impression of all this work we've done. Let me get rid of uh, some of this extra stuff. Let's see what becomes of this. All right. Let's take a listen.
maybe. Um, yeah, still, my brain is not quite that... I'm trying to assess the quality of this. I do not think I'm actually capable of doing that at the moment. Um, I'm able to keep chugging along, finishing this form, and uh, getting at least... Getting at least everything in place, but I know I know almost for sure that I'm gonna need to uh, have a bit of extra like alone time with it um, to just kind of get get the uh, get the art out of it. <laughs> um, oh, I see. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. Because the next step after I'm done writing this thing is to figure out recording it. And, uh... That... During that phase of rehearsing it or getting it into the DAW, there's always a certain amount of, um... Missing pieces that... That, fun that like, get resolved when you're doing that. So, so I'm hopeful. I didn't really like the 16th note thing. I think it would be cool if this was uh, honest. If there, there's got to be some syncopation somewhere. I'm kind of scramble brained at the moment. I didn't realize I was scramble brained until I started actually working on this today uh, and filming. And I think I'll get unscrambled in a, in a second. But basically, what we have here is. Uh, that's looking good. We can put a rest on these these guys to help emphasize that accent on the piano. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay. Okay. So let's finish filling out this B section. Where are the chords here? Right, so... <clears throat> For the violin, we will do E, uh, E, 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 and then E, F sharp. And then we'll hold on. Uh, e. And then here, we got F sharp, I want G sharp, G sharp, B, G sharp, B, then, uh, We want a, G, how about E A? Oh, we did that in the, the E here already. Um, and then we had a F, F sharp, C major, seven sharp, eleven chord here. And then. If we have a C for the whole measure. Nah. It's the C here. nice all right and then here do a
So we're going to need to end up at an A section again. Um, so I'm going to just copy an A section here so we can hear like where we're get, where we're trying to get to. And uh, I'm going to actually copy the original A section from back when uh, everyone hated the piece. <laughs> Let's see. This one, I think. Um, back then familiar to everyone we've all heard it so many times <laughs> it's almost it's almost like painful to hear it again I don't know if this is gonna end up being what we use for the a section actually but I want to put it here uh, just in case and I'm gonna leave us some extra measures Measures. It's a lot of measures. All right. All right. So. Gosh, it's just like, it's kind of dumb, you know? It's like, like we, we have to build up some emotion here, like some meaning or some, something. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's an interesting question. Does it have to have meaning? Does it? Does it, am I responsible for the emotion or do people find emotion where they're looking for it? I don't know. Maybe it's a bunch of everything. Usually it's not just one right thing and one wrong thing. It's just lots of rights and varying gradients, a gradient of correctness. But Definitely not using this. Um, so what I think we need to do is stick with our form, the quiet A section, and just go as big as possible here in this last B. I have some thoughts on how we can do that. We can bring in our triplet motif. But I want to listen from a little back over here. see what happens if I bring some of these triplety things back uh, we have idea well, let's see what happens if we do this um,
using this eerie chromatic atonal bass line and working from that against this melody, I think that'll heed an interesting kind of climactic darkness. <laughs> in here. <laughs> All right. My brain's back. That's cool.
<laughs> Unexpected. All right. B flat, F sharp. It's like a B flat augmented chord, so we get some D's here. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh man. Life's full of ups and downs. One minute you're like, oh no, I'm not going to make this good. Next minute you're like, I'm making this good. Huh. I'm very impressed with all the people who are still watching this series. Uh, I think it's very interesting to do this you know on the internet and there isn't really anything else like it that I know of where someone's you know writing a piece from start to finish like this and publicly and all that so I think it's it's a very interesting and cool thing obviously otherwise I wouldn't be doing it so much but I think it also requires a lot of patience and also like a very niche kind of like desire to watch some be part of something like this you know so uh thanks to the people who are still around that's very it's very inspiring to see how many folks out there are as obsessed with this stuff as I am um, so we've got let's see what we can do. get the old triplet sequence going again so we'll get a really low note it's like a, an A yeah that's low uh, should be actually
That's going to be gnarly. chord over Some reinforcement for the uh, for the for this thingy. Do that starting here. This one will come in here. And then this one will come in here. Okay, it's getting modern. <laughs> that's not the grossest thing yet well there's lots of gross music out there but it's nice to be part of the tradition so let's hear how this all sounds going into that that's that's the real question um, start from here <laughs>
I like it. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good luck. I know. I know Chris can do it. Okay. Well, next stop is the final section, the quiet A section. Let's see how it goes. See you in a bit. <laughs> 